If you love Trello, if you're an absolute Trello junkie like myself and you like managing your projects inside of uh, Trello, then you're going to love this tutorial because I'm going to share with you a brand new tool that uh, I came across, which is called Bridge24 that allows you to manage different projects. It helps you um, with so many different procedures inside of Trello. So if you have uh, managers on your team or if you are a manager and you're like, I really need to work with different you know, worksheets and I need some more automation instead of doing a lot of things manually, then keep on watching this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use that. So as you can see, I am inside of my back office inside of Bridge24 and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to navigate around it. But before I do, so right now you can basically see what is on the inside. And a couple of key points that I do want to mention is that it is integrated with a couple of different tools. And I'm going to show you which ones. I'm a huge fan of Trello, but it also integrates with Basecamp, with Asana. So if you are a user of any of those, then uh, you can definitely start using that. So you can say Asana, Trello, Basecamp, and Ace Project. So those are the four that are being integrated. The other thing that I do want to say about Bridge24 that the target user in particular is either a manager, uh, the one who needs to track the work progression and need to view the tasks across all different projects. So if you have multiple different projects going on and you have a manager on your team or you are a manager inside of a company, then you're going to be able to see the progress and the charts and the bars, uh, which I'm about to show you right now. Also, this is for all the reporting users who need to extract information provided in a presentable format. So if you are creating all kinds of different presentations and you need to pull different information and charts and graphs from your projects, um, and deliver the information regarding those, then you're also going to be able to use Bridge24 because they're going to give you the, all the stats and all the progress of every single project that you are working on. And also it is for operational users uh, who, would like to, uh, who would like an alternative and interface to Asana to access, filter, and update tasks. So if you are an Asana user, then you may not like certain features, for example. And if you do need to use, um, like I mentioned, uh, progression and you need to see how far you are in any given project, then Bridge24 is going to do the work for you. So before I dive into the pricing and everything else, I'm going to show you what I had set up uh, specifically for this video tutorial. Uh, I'm actually going to show you a couple of different boards. So if you haven't checked out my Trello tutorial, and how to use it, be sure to do that. I'm going to link it uh, up here in the cards and I'm also going to link it down below in the description bar, in the description section. Um, so I have currently one board, which is my business overview. So I have a lot of different tasks right here. Uh, I have current big projects, I have future projects, I have you know certain things for my Facebook group. So there's a lot of stuff that I generally keep. Uh, so there's literally everything. There's like a lot of stuff, right? And I had set up a specific um, uh, Trello board uh, for Bridge24 so I can actually show you how everything looks like. So this is the new projects board. Uh, and over here I have three projects in particular. Uh, number one, lead magnet funnel. Number two, website upgrade. And number three, uh, one funnel with challenge sales page. And again, this is a separate funnel as well. So, and over here, I'm just going to show you. So I have different labels. Uh, this is going to help you understand how to use Bridge24. And under each uh, card, I have a checklist, right? So right here, I have headline, you know, that I have like certain things that have to be done. I have my due date when this project has to be finished and if i were to have members or you know people that i outsource to or team members uh inside this particular board i can also add members and you know right here i can either search members and for this particular board i don't have that uh, i can also add different attachments i don't have any i believe in any of these boards but i do have some uh right here you can see an attachment right here an attachment right there right 
so and one more thing that i do have here is i have one power up instead of this trailer board is a calendar because that always does help me out just to kind of get a visual picture of what i need to get done and in this particular project i have everything fin like needs to that everything needs to be finished on august 19th so uh let's go and you can also open it up in a weekly format right so that way you can see um and i can drag the cards you know in between like if i need to move it um usually it does move yeah so i can move it right here let's say the capture page or i can move the thank you page on the wednesday <coughs> so and then you know let's let's just move everything around a little bit so we have some space right so anyways let's just make it uh look like this and i'm gonna close it down so right here you can see uh, all the dates have changed and actually this one the extras i'm going to change the due date for the 18th and i'm going to save it um and now you can see the calendar everything is like this right so uh let's move on to bridge 24. so this um over over here so you can see my personal boards and i also have different team boards right so whenever you register you're going to be asked which particular tool you want to integrate with either that's going to be asana or Basecamp or trello or whatever else um so over here i have my trello board my trello account already integrated and on the le on the left uh dashboard you're going to be able to see like different teams that you have inside of your trello or asana account and i can switch in between this so that way i like the fact that there are not going to be you know too many boards at the bottom because if i switch let's say to this particular uh team and i go under the boards there's only four right but if i go under my main one um personal boards then there's going to be a whole bunch so i like the fact that you can uh, navigate in between if you want and here i have only the start board open um, I can open the recent ones, just the ones that I really need to use right now. I can open all of them. I can even open the closed boards, right? So if I need to go into anything that is closed, which I actually don't, I'm just going to go back to the start boards and you can close whatever you don't want to use. You can have different labels, which I had just showed you inside of the Trello. And then there's different kinds of filters that can be used. So let's go ahead into the board uh i believe i was under the projects so so here is how it's going to look like so you can navigate in between grids then you can go under the calendar section and you can see if you have any due dates which i do right here you can see everything and you can see the week you can see the day you can see the agenda which i don't have it right here myself um and you can export everything so if you click here uh, you can export everything in an Excel format or CSV and you can choose what kind of fields you want to choose and let's go back to the grid section um, because everything right now is you know pretty much in the in the Excel sheet format right and first of all there are going to be actions the first one that is from the Trello which I can actually delete this because I can hide this column because I don't have anything right here under the description section i only have one right here which is okay uh, and then under all of the others uh, i have the list right then i have the labels for pretty much most of them uh, then i have the members which is very convenient if you have members you can always you know have that i'm going to hide this right now um, and then attachments i believe i don't have anything right here uh, so i'm going to go ahead and hide this as well so now i can see for each project i'm going to have a due date um so instead of Trello, it is going to be beneficial if you for each project you're going to have a separate label you're going to have some comments or descriptions uh labels due dates members and then different board names so that way you can see where you're at uh and i'm going to save this um just so that we don't lose anything and then i can export everything in an excel sheet um fields from the grids uh, view which is what i want to do right now default include card identifiers separate sheets for checklists comments and attachments and then i can go ahead and export and everything is going to be in an excel sheet format and then i can pull it up in i actually don't personally use excel on my computer i have notes from uh from apple 
and now we can see how this is going to look like. So obviously this is by all means not a perfectly set up Trello board, but I try to do my best uh, specifically for this tutorial and how I would actually use it if I were to have like a specific board for all the projects. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, isn't that opening? Okay, yeah, it's still open, so it's still taking a little bit of time. So this is how it would look like if you were to use the grid format. Um, like I said, you can also use the calendar, and then you can also see the, how the board looks like from here, right? And you can export any kind of format, right? You can export the grid, you can export the calendar. Um, everything is going to go into an Excel sheet format, and I think this is still taking a minute, so... Yeah. So now... I, I'm also going to show you how to use the reports. So when you go over here, um, you're going to be able to see, uh, hang on, let me go back to the grid section, then you're going to go to the reports, and here you can choose, you know, the board, completed, created, completion status, so um, you, can, you can select everything by levels, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the board, and then I'm going to choose the second level, um, let's say completion status um, and then you can see sort cards uh, I can go ahead and choose the last updated ad so you can see how the progress is moving uh, forward and you can choose landscape or portrait I'm gonna choose landscape because I feel like that's gonna be better for the whole look and then you can see the entire report so and here you're gonna see you know like name sales page bonuses brain dump so obviously my project is by all means not the best but imagine if you have an entire project or you have different um like you, you're working with the numbers especially then you're gonna be able to see everything in a in a in a format like this and you don't have to manually go and write everything out you just have everything in your asana or trello or anywhere else and you export the entire report so then you can also have interactive charts which i'm gonna go right here and we're using the same exact uh, Trello board. I'm not switching to any any other. And here you can see, um, you know, you can choose any. Again, you can you you can choose any kind of chart. Uh, you can choose the archive status. You can like what like completed by month, completed by week. So if you're tracking a particular project and it needs to be done within a week, and you can also track how fast every project is being completed. And then you can basically like you know choose everything let's say the color uh you can choose completed by week which i personally don't have any projects completed in that particular board uh so that may look a little bit incomplete um so right here members obviously it is unassigned uh then right here you can see cards by overdue and soon due so you can see how many are uh, about to be like to haven't been ready and then without days I have seven so it is very good for you to actually fill everything out and have every single project with a due date um, projects created by month uh, obviously this has been created all in August and then you can see you know how many projects you have in each month and then you can see cards by board uh, this is not gonna be a whole lot right here and you can switch you know pie charts um, if you need to see like a donut or a polar uh, or a vertical bar, like whatever works for your company, you can choose inside of Bridge24. Um, so if we scroll a little bit down, so here I can see cards by list. So I have, you know, lead magnet funnel, I have, you know, six different things right here. OFA challenge, I have uh, two different lists. And then website upgrade, I have five. So I can see how many projects I actually have to how many tasks I have to get done by for each project. Um, and then right here, I don't really have any relevant data. And down here, so I have things by label, right? So I see, okay, so yellow, I have five different things that I have to get done for the website. Then four of them are urgent, funnel, emails, and then no labels. So labels, it's a really good way to identify where you are slacking and where you can improve along the way, right? And then the same thing here, um, that's also labels by the color, which I usually use the night, but the, by the color, I use them by the label. Um, so that's the charts right there for you. So another thing you can do as well is you can search for history. Uh, for every single board, so for this or for displayed cards, I'm gonna go and go into the board, 
and actually what I'm going to do right now is right here you can see um, who updated what and you can see that things have been updated by date or they have been updated by the person or the board or the cards or the events or the new value I would keep it by date and time so you can actually see when things have been uh, updating I'm gonna go into a different board uh, this is actually uh, I'm gonna go into the history and no, actually let me go to this one um, have a couple of boards for you pulled up so I'm gonna go into the history for the board that is the big board that I showed you the business overview with everything um, so and we're gonna go ahead and update um, so last seven days it really has not been updated but let's choose 180 days because there's gonna be a whole lot right so and then I can see you know what I put in into each section what kind of description I had added um, I can hide whatever I want to hide um, I can add different columns right here so if I need to see a date if I need to see um, you know where when things have been updated actual status event ID uh, and then make sure that you save this every single time so you don't lose your information so that is how you use the history so so far I showed you how you can use the grid how you can use the calendar how you can see the entire board uh, how to use the charts uh, how to pull reports out of each board and how to use the history so I'm going to show you the pricing for this um, right here on the page you're going to see that you can either pay by the user if you're just one person you're a solopreneur it's going to be $12 a month or you can pay annually if you have a team then you're going to pay anywhere from $8.25 all the way down to $6.75 depending on the size of your company or you can pay annually and that's gonna come out a little bit cheaper. And you can see all the features on this page. I'm gonna link it down below for you where you can go and register. And uh, so that's about it. I really hope this gives you a visual uh, representation of how the tool works, how Bridge24 can really simplify your life if you are into a lot of projects, if you are a manager and you really want to see how the company is moving forward. So hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to attach all the links for you down below uh, for you to get signed up and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. So there you go. That is exactly how you use Breach24 in combination with Trello. You can also use it with Asana and a couple of different, um, you know, different uh, tools. I'm going to leave a link for you down below. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And uh, for more videos and trainings just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell sign to get uh, notifications whenever I publish new video content, which is every single week. And uh, be sure to check out the videos right here that I'm going to publish. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.